New from 101 Films and their Agfa range is The Curious Doctor Hump from 1969. This Argentinian exploitation weirdness is truly something to behold. A rather different kind of movie altogether. In fact, for the first 14 minutes, there's basically not an uttered line of dialogue or character to be involved as such. What you have is a series of vignettes of people having sex and then being attacked, kidnapped by some strange kind of zombified creature. We then jump into the story involving a police officer, involving a news reporter, investigating a lot of disappearances of young couples. And then we get to the crux of our story, the curious Dr Hump himself, a man who is running these rather weird experiments on a bunch of young kids to increase their libido and sexual urges so that he can then drain that as a life force to keep himself young. And of course he's doing this with the help of what seems like a Nazi brain in a jar. Could just be me putting that on it, but there is a brain in the jar that he talks to that kind of helps him with the experiments. However, I warn you, you must continue to develop the ingredients for the aphrodisiacs yourself. Do not send to public pharmacies for them. And it's, it's a rather kind of fun and silly romp of a movie. One that's definitely worth checking out. It is very odd, but very kind of fun at the same time. Uh, it's funny how over the course of, say, 50 years or so, things that were once titillating have kind of lost their luster and are now just merely... Uh, you can see what they are. You can see why they've been using those kind of things. Uh, the kind of wraparound story of Dr. Hump is, is particularly great, but they keep interspersing it with various sequences of sex and titillation to really kind of push the boundaries and to give it a kind of unique angle for it to, to grab foothold with at the time. Um, personally, I liked quite a lot of aspects of this. I really enjoyed the fact of the news reporter who gets drawn into this story, who's trying to discover what the hell is going on, who seems to have a certain kind of virility to himself as well. In fact, there's a couple of times that he um, has sex with people who instantly fall in love and follow him everywhere. What are you doing? I'm going to help you get away. Make believe you're asleep, darling. Will do anything for him, even turning against their master, Dr. Hump, who, like I said, is wonderfully portrayed here. A man who seems to have something wrong with him is deteriorating, but is using this uh, life source and essence from these virile young people to help uh, combat that illness that he has to keep him young. He is on a quest for the greater good. He wants to help the world by making sure that everybody can live eternally, thanks to his experiments. How much longer will you have to go on with these experiments? I don't know, but without them, I'd be dead now. It's just an excuse to have people having lots of sex uh, in fun manners. And I kind of um, enjoyed The Curious Dr. Hump a lot. Um, from the lo-fi city effects to the kind of fun production standards to the kind of ludicrousness of the plot and the, the jumps that it takes sometimes. It was all in just incredibly fun. It's a, it's a calculated uh, movie by the filmmaker as it tries to key in enough sex to, to tackle one demographic, to have enough kind of silly homage to 50s uh, monster movies and crazy mad scientist movies uh, to capture another audience. It's trying to do all these things to get a foothold, just to pull back um, the kind of finances that were invested into it. And by putting all this into a hodgepodge uh, of a movie, it creates something that's rather unique, rather fun, rather different, and something that I found was quite enjoyable. What have you done, you idiots? Dr. Hump was my bodily instrument for finding eternal life for all of mankind. Yeah, this disc, is, is, as well as a, like a bunch of trailers and that comes with it, there is an original uh, cut of the movie, um, which is interesting enough. I kind of 
blitz through that a little bit but I kind of like the first one that I watched um, the 2k scan it looks terrific you get to see the wonderful makeup um, on our crazy zombified robotic henchman that Dr Hump has uh, as well and, and all round it's a bit of an oddball one but it has a, a very stringent plot that it follows to it doesn't spoon feed you every bit uh, of information but it's there for you to pick up which I kind of appreciate as well and I just had a lot of fun with Dr Hump I would love to know what you think of this one if you're going to check it out if you've already seen it are you picking it up let me know in the comment box and while you're down there you know click that like button because it really helps there is more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff and don't forget to go into the description box where you can see a link to the Patreon and the membership program where you can really help support this channel and that would be fantastic thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film